Hello guys, this is beautiful here, bringing you guys some more Madden Mobile 21, the yard gameplay, and we're, sh we're going right it into this, into the game right here right now against the OKC Shields, I think that's what they're called, so if you guys do enjoy this video, please be sure to drop a like. And don't forget to subscribe because I really don't want you guys to miss a video. Also, please hit that notification bell if you do enjoy this video. And a lot of people are going to think like Raul. Are going to upload a video? Yeah, I'm going to upload a video. Like, chill out, okay? Um, and it's been working, honestly, I've been doing it, and so this week, if you're watching this, it, by this week, I'm going to be doing a quadruple, uh, TikTok compilation, and then, so that way I can make up or anything I've done. There are going to be some TikToks where you might have seen in the past because the 27th one, I want to do it on EA Big, which was a, I guess, like a subset of EA where they made some street like gameplay. So, street games, you know, like NFL Street, NBA Street, FIFA Street. So, I kind of want to do that. And compile it into one. Also, I might do like arena football, like um, arena football. Even though there's like two of them, I am gonna gonna be doing like a game, like two TikToks on that. So even though it's supposed to be seven, I'm gonna be doing two. Then depending on what like I want to do next. Like, there's so much that you could do with TikTok that it comes to a point where, like, you have to start creating your own ideas. I might try and do some other, like, games, or I even might roast some people. You never know, but at the end of the day, it is what it is, and yeah. Also, depending on the length of the video. So, I am editing this, like, as you're watching. The video footage that I got for my next episode, for this episode, was 30 minutes and 55 seconds of the raw footage. Now, when I edited it, it turned out to be 13 minutes and 12 seconds and 25 whatever seconds, but that's besides the point. I basically had to cut like certain footage to the point where there were no losses and it would have been awkward. So that's what I did. It would have been like the old days of my YouTube channel where I would have been like doing videos without editing and the problem is back then was I always uploaded videos without editing because if you don't know about my YouTube channel I used to use iMovie to get my videos out and that's how it was by the way that was almost a touchdown but do you know what is a touchdown that what a dime that was and so we jump into another game right here that one was 15 points this is also also 15 points and there's and then there's going to be a third game which also has 15 points a thing about Okay, I'm going to mention this really quickly for anybody who's, like, curious about those throws. A lot of the times, whenever 
I make those throws. It's like very sad that I do them. Not in a bad way. It's just like when I whenever I do them, apparently the AI thinks like Oh, you have to catch it. Obviously, you do have to catch it. But the issue is, I personally don't like the AI when it comes to, like, I mentioned it in Madden 25, talked about it a lot in Madden 25, but, like, it's certain catching mechanics that I don't like, and it really sucks. Like, for me, in my own opinion, that I think like catching mechanics are so bad, especially in mobile editions. Like they don't improve within the game. Now I understand like certain like the graphics are not up to date, especially since like mobile games can be like a par with. You know, like consoles, like there's a difference between console and a mobile, like a, a mobile, like a f mobile, like phone. I get that, but like whenever you have um, so much money, you can invest into it, like new game modes and stuff like that, and improve catching mechanics and stuff like that. I wish that would happen, but apparently it doesn't. Now, apparently, from what I can understand, 2K, okay, you have to listen, take this as a grain of salt. 2K apparently make, did make, no, not mobile. They did have, they do have 2K games, like 2K 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, 21. We all know those. But for NBA, there was 2K. There is 2K Mobile, which is made, which is, which is in part with, I guess, like, I don't know. But I used to play it. There is a real issue with it. Like, a lot of 2K creators, like, a lot of 2K, like, people will say, like, 2K, the NBA 2K is a good game, but there's just, like, a lot of problems. The number one being, I feel like, excuse me, it's, like, server, servers and stuff like that. And those kind of issues, uh, servers, my team, and like some of the, the, the uh, my career. Now you might be thinking, oh, my career is like a good mode. Oh yes, it is. My career is a great mode, especially on next gen. But the problem is, and you have to consider this: when Madden was going to go is going to go in the next gen, they're gonna they allowed. Players to whoever had Madden 21 on next gen could pour whatever like anything they had into the next gen. So if, if like say like you have a PlayStation 4, you have a PlayStation 5, you could port whatever you had, like any information, as like anything you had, you can port into the uh, uh, like into the PlayStation 5. Same thing, same thing if you had an Xbox One, uh, like Xbox Xbox One S, X, whatever, you could port that, like, Magic 21 stuff to the next gen with, into the Xbox Series X or S. That's just how it is, and I realized that was pretty amazing. I realized that was... That that was pretty cool. Uh, that Madden did something right, but 2K when it came to my career, 
and I think for other because they include the new game mode, so well, so I can understand. But it didn't make sense that they you couldn't port your mic player into the new game, or you could import your old franchise into the game. Like you know what I'm trying to say? Like you couldn't port import your your play like your old console like information into the new con uh, into the next gen and somehow work i know there would be issues with that but you can make it work and it's literally scary that i have to think about that because if you don't know i played nba 2k19 and oh my god my career was so bad, it felt cheesy at times. Even playing on Pro Difficulty, it felt so cheesy. Like, really cheesy. Like, I would win a ton of games, and when it came to Season 2, I was absolutely devastated because we were beaten by the Bucks in the first round. Or the second round. I don't remember, but it was like either the first or second round. Excuse me, but anyway, the issue is now I I like don't like it anymore. I hate it. It's not my good ideals. And yeah, I just hated it like so much that it, it just didn't feel like the right ideals. Like, especially for the expansion team now, I did do a live stream on it, so so like. Now, it's like sickening, to be honest, but I did win the championship that year, and I felt disgusted, but felt kind of happy in a way that I ended the series, like, cleanly, as much as I could possibly be. I did it with y'all. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. We are going to score a touchdown off of this clean throw. Thank you. Peace.